Um, it's a little tough. I mean, you got, it's, it's really about time management. You got to just you know pick out times and make sure your schedule, your, your class schedule is good. It's, you know, works around your your basketball schedule. Just, I mean, it can't be. It can it can get a little uh, hectic, but it's it's not too bad though. I mean, I'm really good. With, I'm really good with children, so I probably like do a lot, of, a lot of um, volunteer work at like boys and girls clubs or like even like daycare center. Cause that's really what I want to do at the at the basketball. I want to start my own boys and girls club. You know, in the old neighborhood I used to live in. Just, you know, give back to my community. Mm -hmm. well, actually, I started playing um, baseball first. I played baseball first, and then I played football, and then I just walked into basketball and I just stuck with basketball. I think I enjoyed it more because you know in basketball you get I think you get you get seen more and people like really know you know more about who you are like instead of like football players you 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 know the main people like the quarterback the running back the wide receiver but not really the linemen the offensive linemen defensive linemen you never know those. Uh, never be satisfied. That's that's something my, my high school coach told me when I, when I was uh, my sophomore year in high school. He told me never be satisfied. Never never get complacent. Just always. You know, try to do work, work to be the best. I'll try to do better. Never be satisfied with what you've done so far. Uh, my first year in Hawaii, here, that was the coolest place I've ever been in my life. I mean, jet skiing is something that I had never done before until then. And I, I want to go back every day and jet skiing now. <laughs> well, I have a hidden town. I can cook. I'm a, I'm a pretty good chef, so. Pretty good at chicken alfredo or like grilling steak or chicken, stuff like that. Yeah. My best memory <laughs> when we won the uh, SEC championship at Georgia Tech doing the whole tornado thing. That was that was an incredible weekend. I, I, I would never thought something like that would happen that early in my college career. So that was pretty mind blowing. Fan rituals. Cause it's just listening to music. I just I listen to music about for about you know from I don't know for about two hours before the game. I just listen to music all all up until I get dressed. I just, I just my my favorite rapper is a rapper out of Atlanta, and he uh, I just listen to him for about two hours. And it gets me really, it gets me really pumped up, really going so.